Hello guys, this is Rico from The Art of War, www.taow.net. Um, today we're going to take a look at a video tutorial for how to install a stealth bot for Battle.net. Um, we're going to install it for Warcraft 3 and Diablo 2, or Warcraft 3 or Diablo 2, it's the same method. Um, you cannot install a StarCraft stealth bot due to um, Warden, since there's a Warden patch for Warcraft 3 you can, there's still no Warden patch for StarCraft so you will need a Warcraft 3 CD key okay so the first thing we're going to do is just open up the browser and we're just going to go to www.stealthbot.net and this is the StealthBot website now on their forums they do have a detailed step-by-step -step method that you can follow to install it. This is just a video tutorial just to reinforce it, just so you can have a visual on what to do. And we're just going to scroll down and click on download. So click this to download and I'm just going to save the file. I'm just going to run the file. Click I agree. And I'm just going to save this on the desktop. Call a new folder. Call this stuff bot. And just press OK. And select install. You can close this now. Minimize the download. And minimize the browser. OK. So here we have our stealth bot. This is our stealth bot folder. And I believe this is the shortcut. So um, this is the basic install right here. We should go ahead and run the bot. And go ahead and click settings, bot settings, and go into configuration. This is where we're going to configure our username that we're going to use for our stealth bot. I'm just going to make up a test name, call it taow-test make up a password and here you can enter your CD key, we're just going to leave that blank for now and home channel you can enter whatever you want wherever your bot will start off select Warcraft 3 as the product and select a server we're going to install this on US West um, do not select the first one select one of the IPs listed below US West or US East do not. The reason for that is because Warden will will or some Warden will not allow you to connect under US West. You will have to select an IP underneath it. I have no clue what's the reason for that. So just follow it. I'm going to pick any IP. Click Apply and Close, and close StealthBot. Now you will notice that StealthBot in your StealthBot folder, it will create a file called config.ini. I'm going to go ahead and open that. Now, you will have to do some edits in here. First thing you will have to you will have to do is search for a line called verbite. Any lines that you see that has verbite, you have to remove it. Now, every time I install StealthBot, I can never find this line, so I just do it as a security just to be on the safe side. So, we're just going to press control F and search for a verbite and we did not find anything so that step is okay the next thing we're going to do is open up our browser for StealthBot again and we're just going to go into the technical support section for StealthBot Oops. Do that. <coughs> technical support and I'm just going to go into version check failed and we'll go into this thread now I'll provide this link into the video tutorial so you can easily copy it if you don't see it clearly enough just give it a second to load
I have no clue why it's not loading. Okay, there we go. And this is where I, what I meant by earlier the step-by-step -step directions. And so we'll need, we actually skip step one. We'll come back to that. We just finished doing step two by removing the verbite line. Since we did not find any, we didn't have to worry about that. So you're going to have to d download this exe file right here since we are running this on Warcraft 3. Save this file and as we go, it's going to open the containing folder where its file is located. Sorry, it's this folder right here. And you can either drag this or copy this into your StealthBot folder. We're just going to copy, control C, close that, close this. And control V. Oops, it's not the same file. You guys won't have this too, it's just that I have a second version already downloaded. And it's not letting me do that, so I'm just going to move this here. And then move it back. Rename it, it'll ask you to confirm replacement. Hit yes. Move this back into place. The other edit you have to do is, is find the line on your config.ini file called main. It's usually a few lines below, usually about seven. So it's this line right here. Or you can just control, press control F and search for it. And it'll find it for you. We're just going to press enter. And underneath that line, we're going to add a BNLS server address. Copy that, and paste it there. Close that, and just save the file. Now, this will allow you to run StealthBot, except your StealthBot will keep dropping every two minutes due to warning. There is a warning patch available for Warcraft 3, and that is under the StealthBot website as well. So the stealth bot that's actually in the bottom of this tutorial. And it's right here. And I believe it's this IP or the sorry this address. Once again we'll provide the the links on the video so you can copy them. And I'm just gonna click here. And just save this file as well. And then we're just going to open this file. I'm just going to copy this file, Control C, or you can drag it as well, into your stealth bot folder. And then we're just going to right click and select extract here. This will extract four files uh, for Warden that will allow you to run Warden. And we're just going to now. Uh, Sorry. Now, every time you're going to run your stealth bot, you will have to run this file called warden.exe. It will ask you, your window security should come up and ask you if you want to block it. We're going to unblock it. And this, is, this has to run in the background, or else your stealth bot will not work. And after that, you can open up your stealth bot, go to settings, go to bot settings. Now, before we continue, we will have to make one more change. We have to go under Advanced and select Use a Proxy to Connect. The proxy IP address is going to be localhost, and the proxy port is 6111. We have to make sure SOC S4 is selected and not SOC S5. So just do a visual check for that. So that Sorry. and just hit apply and close. Now I still have to enter a CD key on mine, so I'm just going to pause this video and enter one. And after that, uh, I'll, you should be able to connect your bot. So I'll be right back.
Okay, now we're back and I have everything. I have Warden running in the background. I have myself up with all the information set and we just can hit connect. And your bot should connect and that is all. If you have any questions, you can visit me at www.taow.net.